I think I've found the holy grail of cheap MPPT chargers. Now, I'm not talking cheap quality. I'm talking price cheap. I want to thank it, gentlemen. I want to give credit where credit is due. This is how I found it. And uh, right there, if you can read that, the off-grid... What is it? The off-grid mountain homestead. There you go, people. The off-grid mountain homestead. There he is with the video. All right. Credit given because I trust this guy, and he gives great reviews, and he'll tell you if it's good or he'll tell you if it's bad. He said it's good, so I bought one. And let's go and do a little unboxing real quick, and I'll show you what it's like. First off, you can tell by the weight that this ain't a cheap, you know, a cheap, cheap one or a knockoff. And uh, he said it's MPPT, so I trusted him 100%. He did, you know, again, watch his video on it. And I'm just going to tell my homesteader friends out there that uh, are into this stuff, this is the real deal. And we're just going to run it ourselves and check it out. Now, look at that heat sink. That's, that's a legit heat sink. And like I say, you can feel that it's got, you know, the inductors in here and the components. There's weight to it. So it's not just, a, you know, you know that the good stuff is inside there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, like I always do, put these XT60 connectors in here. So I can hook it all up to all my stuff and we'll get back out to you. Okay, I do want to just show you how this opens up, okay? It's got, you know, it's got this cute cover and you just kind of pinch it and it opens up so you can get to the screws. You put your wires down there, but your screws are hidden behind this flap. I just wanted to show you that real quick. Let's get it done. All right, boys and girls, we've got the XT60 connectors in here. That way I can throw it in my kit and I can use it on the fly with any one of my things I have out there. Today, I'm gonna to be using these suckers for the first time. Uh, they're just fast clip-ons that came with an XT60. They were like 13 bucks, not bad. And it's good to have in your kit because then real quick, if you just you know have to charge up your car or you know, you're out camping and you got a, a trolling motor, you wanna charge up real quick i'll just clamp these on and i showed you those fast disconnects on my uh my cheap budget build go watch that one and uh i got the uh, clamps that go on the batteries that were only eight bucks and they were really nice too but let's get after it let's uh hook this thing up remember no fuses be careful You know what? I'm going to hook up this end first because if these have capacitors in them, they might charge up too. So instead of, uh, I want the spark to be on this end if, if there is one. So let's go ahead. The battery is the middle one. I'm just going to double check. Yep. Batteries middle. Let's get the battery hooked up. Let's go ahead and hook it up over here. Very small spark, but spark, that's good. That means there's actually capacitors in there. And uh, let's see what happens here. It says, it's kind of cycling through. Let's see. Okay, it says 13.8. good go 12.6 10.6 24 hour for the uh, power output uh, all right pretty pretty simple it does say that the battery type 
is gel. So we want to change that. So let's go see if we can figure that out. Let's go here. Oh, see the gel is blinking right away. Uh, solid. Lithium. User. And back to flooded. They say to once you get it set, just let it go. And it'll automatically uh, lock it in. So we did that. So we're definitely on fluid now. I don't know if you can read that or not. We're on fluid. It's so small. You're going to have to zoom in. Just take my word for it. Tells you what the temperature is. Uh, nothing blinking coming in from the PV. And the load is set to 12.2 volts. I think that's what the battery is right now. Let's go through this again. See if I can... Yeah, I think that's it. We're ready to go... Uh, but hey, let's use the chuck wagon today. We're going to test it out with a 370 watt panel on the chuck wagon because it's got high voltage coming in and, uh, you know, it's going to be regulating down. So it'll be a true MPP test. I already know it's going to work because I saw that uh, gentleman's review. And again, go check out his reviews on this because it's a really good one. Alrighty, boys and girls. I know the Mighty Maxes, they're great, but we're out here with the chuck wagon I built. It's dusty, I know, but it's got a 370 watt panel up there. It's a little dusty, but it should work just fine. Uh, I shouldn't be able to get but 240 watts anyways out of the 370. That's why it's nice. It's, uh, it's a little overkill. Let's go down here, set you up here. Oh, say hi to the, say hi to the pup. All right, everybody likes a dog. If you don't, you shouldn't be watching my channel. Dogs are awesome. Okay, so underneath here, coming from the panels, I've got I've got the XT60s coming right off the panel. Remember, boys and girls, always hook up the battery to these first, okay? Always hook up the battery. Let's go ahead and do that first. All right, she's hooked up. Let's give it a second. It says that we got a load. 12.2 battery. Okay, just flash through. It says the battery is 12.2. I didn't see that the last time. But uh, there it goes, right there, 12.2. So let's go ahead and uh, hook up the solar now. All right, so got the solar hooked up. And I don't know if you can see that or not. But yeah, it says we're getting 36.8 volts in. Which is good. That means it's true MPPT. The battery is now recording 12, 5, 12. So it's climbing fast. It's charging good. Yeah, this battery, I don't know. It's, it's on its last leg, but I'm using it. Yeah, the battery's already up to 13.8, 13.9, 14. I'm thinking it'll, it'll cut out at... Uh, at 14 something yeah so kind of leveled out at 14 5 amps so yeah we're charging that 5 amps coming in and I think that's probably because it's already pretty well charged but 14.2 yeah the battery's reading 14.2 says the battery is at 100% because you know like i said i charged it the other day and uh but it's not holding 12 6 but yeah there you go people and uh i'm just gonna set that down we'll just let it charge for a while all right the battery's already saying 
13.7, so it's already floating, which is good. Hold on, let me just look at that again. Yeah, 13.8. There you go, people, right there. 13.8, it's floating the charge just like it's supposed to. So I went to 14. Probably charges around 14 something. Then comes down to uh, 13.8 for a float charge. And $39 for me. He said he paid 35, maybe you get a discount. 39 for me, under $40, 20 amp. I think they got 30 amp in that same uh, container. And I saw ones that have fans on them, so for their, their bigger ones. But I say right now, it's a win. I'll put a link in the description down below on Amazon. I ain't getting nothing from it. Uh, how about go to the other gentleman's uh, page. If you buy one, buy it off of his page. That way he gets some credit maybe. I don't know if he does or not, but I'm not going to get anything. So go to his site to buy them. Go to his link and uh, order it there. I'm not going to put the link in the description. I'm going to let you go to the uh, gentleman that I said in the beginning. Go like his. Say, hey, two old people on the couch sent us over and uh, we're buying it from you. That's it, guys. That's all I got. And again, go look at my Chuck Wagon video built this sucker I added some more I didn't show anybody else's but it's a little wobbly so I put these uh, this back piece on with these corner corner braces now if you rock it the whole you know, the wheels rock the trailer doesn't rock now the whole whole sucker so I'll be camping with that here soon I think I'm gonna take the cheapo battery see if I can make it a night or two just cooking off of that and see if we can get a little bit of life out of this old battery and uh, do some cooking with it. Well, that's it. That's all I got. You have a wonderful day, boys and girls. And we'll catch you on the next one.